Hey lore lovers, my name is Eric, and welcome to the Lord Brand's YouTube channel. With the spoiler season for Ikoria Layer of Behemoths underway, we're going to dive into the backstory of its marquee character, Vivian Reed. Vivian is a green-aligned shamanic planeswalker from the remote and obscure plane of Scala. Her world was divided into two major groups, the Forest Dwellers, of which she was a part, and the Nura, a technologically advanced civilization that surrounded the massive forest of Scala. Vivian belonged to the Smaragdi tribe of Forest Dwellers, a group of militaristic shamans and druids whose sole purpose was to protect the forest and all creatures within it. The Nura's constant deforestation and encroachment on the natural order to fuel their technologies led to open hostilities between the two civilizations. As war consumed the plain, Vivian fought desperately to protect her ever-dwindling forest against the Nura's machines of progress. In fact, the Nura were such an advanced people that they brought the attention of the dragon planeswalker Nicol Bolas to Scala. Interested only in self-improvement and preservation, Bolas manipulated the Nura and plundered the minds of their best artificers for all of their secrets, after which he saw no further use of Scala and proceeded to slowly level the plane. Having nowhere else to retreat other than the forest they worked to destroy, the Nura fled into its depths. Despite their deep-rooted hatred for one another, both civilizations knew of their impending destruction. They worked fervently to craft a weapon capable of fighting the godlike Bolas and combined their magic to create the legendary Arc Bow. Imprinted with the invocation of every animal to ever walk Scala, the Arc Bow was thought to have the power to defeat the Dragon Planeswalker, but they never had the opportunity to use it. Bolas let out a wave of powerful energy that set the forest ablaze, and mere moments before the inferno consumed her, Vivian's planeswalker spark ignited and she instinctively grabbed the arcbow before leaving the plane to its demise. The only hint into the sad fate of Scala is in the flavor text of the card Bristling Boar which reads, Nicol Bolas destroyed my world. I owe it to Scala to celebrate all life, no matter how dangerous also giving us a glimpse into Vivian's psyche and purpose in the multiverse. Vivian spent many years walking the plains trying to understand the nature of the bow in her possession, which seethed with power and seemed to have a mind of its own, but she was a perfect steward for it. She herself has a deep connection to nature and animals in particular and looks at dangerous and exotic species with youthful excitement, which can be read on many of the cards bearing her flavor text. Much like a zoologist or naturalist, she loves tracking and observing different creatures, and the more deadly, the better. She differs from other shamanic planeswalkers, namely Garrick Wildspeaker, in the fact that she never hunts any of the creatures she finds, believing herself to be protector of all things living. When it comes to civilization, Vivian is cold at best, and violently opposed at worst. She carries with her the grief of an entire plane, and she believes civilization to be the cause of its destruction. She would love nothing more than to rip its cancerous grasp clean of the entire multiverse. If there was one item that could materialize those dreams for her, it would be the Arcbow. Despite having merely a surface level understanding of the artifact, Vivian can nevertheless use it to devastating effect. The bow can call on the spirit of any creature that has been attuned to it and Vivian has added to its collection while walking the plains. The card Vivian's Jaguar tells us that each arrow knocked and loosed by the bow carries with it an invocation of a creature. The arc bow gives these corporeal spirits physical form and strength enough to match or surpass their living counterparts. In many iterations of her card, we can see Vivian either firing her arrows or surrounded by the spirit invocations of the arc bow. Vivian travels several planes, but takes particular interest in the dinosaurs and other beasts of Ixalan, told in the online short stories titled Unbowed. She is drawn to the royal menagerie in the vampire-held city of Lunau in hopes of adding spirits of the creatures there for her Arcbow's collection. After witnessing the abhorrent treatment and malnourishment of the animals in the menagerie, Vivian loses her temper and unleashes destruction on the city. She fires spirit beasts into the streets and uncages the animals in the menagerie, grows them with her magic, and lets them rampage through Lunau until nothing is left of the city. The next time we see Vivian is on Ravnica during the War of the Spark against Nicol Bolas. Like many other planeswalkers, she was lured by the interplanar beacon and trapped using the Immortal Sun. 
but leaving was never an option for Vivian. The war is personal for her, and she wants nothing more than to use the weapon crafted solely for his destruction on the Elder Dragon. With the Arcbow, she seeks to avenge all the creatures of Scala, as well as prevent Ravnica from sharing its fate. Despite being one massive city, Vivian appreciates the nature that surrounds Ravnica, and her devotion to the cause can be seen in the flavor text of Arboreal Grazer. Although denied personal vengeance, Vivian is at peace after the defeat of Nicol Bolas and the closing of the War of the Spark Saga, which brings Vivian to the plain of Ikoria. Overflowing with verdant landscapes and teeming with life, Ikoria is a dream come true for Reed. No doubt her intentions are to add powerful new spirit allies to the Arkbow and observe a slew of monstrous beasts in their natural habitats. From what has been spoiled so far in the new set, we know that civilization does not have the upper hand on Ikoria. The cities that do exist are holed up in their protective defenses and constantly in a fight for their lives against the wilds of Ikoria. Vivian wouldn't have it any other way, and I can imagine she'll come into conflict with some of the people of Ikoria before her time there is up. Well that ends the story of Vivian Reed and her Planeswalker origins. Wizards is soon to release an ebook for Ikoria, Sundered Bond, which will no doubt give us more to dissect about Vivian's past, present, and future. What are your thoughts on Vivian Reed, and what are you most looking forward to on Ikoria? Let me know down in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video, and don't forget to subscribe for weekly content. Until next time, go forth and explore the lore.